Rockstar is giving out free money to players in Grand Theft Auto Online, but it's only if you've received this specific message. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. All right, so a lot of players in the Grand Theft Auto Online community are starting to get this. It says, player survey is a part of our ongoing commitment to improving the player experience. You have been selected to participate in a short Grand Theft Auto Online feedback survey. The survey should take about 10 minutes to complete and is accessible via desktop or mobile devices. Upon completion, you'll receive a gift of $500,000 to use in GTA Online. All feedback and answers you provide will be confidential, and our survey will never ask for your email and or password. Thank you, Rockstar Games. So this is not the first time that Rockstar Games has done this, but this is the first time in a while that they've started to send out this survey. Now, I don't know who ends up getting this survey. We don't know what the requirements are. If it's purely random, if you have to have a social club account, if you have to be subscribed to GTA Plus, but just be on the lookout for your emails because that's where Rockstar is sending it to. I would have to imagine that because they need your email in some way, shape, or form, this is only going to be available if you are a social club member. So long story short, check it. I know some of you guys might not really check your email. You might only use it for signing up for stuff, or you might have created a secondary email in order to create your Rockstar Games account, and you might not necessarily check it all that regularly. Well, you need to, because you might have $500,000 sitting there waiting for you to get it. And remember, it only takes 10 minutes. You can do it on your phone or your computer. And it's not like Rockstar is going to put up a billboard that said GTA lover 69420 said that they hate X, Y, and Z and they love A, B, and C. That's not going to be the case, nor are they going to ask for your email or password. So it is completely safe. And again, at the end of the day, you get $500,000. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot of money, but it's $500,000 for 10 minutes of your time. So we can never complain about free money. Now, there was more follow-up to this as Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2 started doing some digging and started to figure out what the entire survey was all about. Apparently, according to some people that did receive the survey, it was all about GTA+. Plus. And this should not be a surprise. Rockstar and their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, have both said that GTA+, Plus is doing very, very well. We're still seeing new monthly bonuses every single event period. So clearly, this is something that they are going to keep doing. So not surprising that it was all about GTA+. Plus. And he even followed up by saying... I am positive the survey requires you to be a GTA Plus subscriber since it's 100% concerned with their new service. I'm told the survey even asked about what the player would think of a fast travel feature from Los Santos to Blaine County. Now, that last part is interesting, and that is where we are going to follow up. Now, it makes you wonder, why would Rockstar be interested in knowing what players think of a fast travel feature from Los Santos to Blaine County, unless there was going to be something coming in the future that had to do with Blaine County? And interestingly enough, there's been some stuff found that suggests Blaine County is going to be the feature of the next DLC. So this comes from Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2 who said this, Since the cat is out of the bag, there are references to Juggalos for the next DLC. And in case you guys don't know what a Juggalo is, it's a fan of hip-hop group Insane Clown Posse or any other hip-hop group signed to Psychopathic Records. Juggalos have developed their own idiom, slang, and characteristics. The Gathering of the Juggalos, alternatively known as just The Gathering, is a notable annual festival held by the Juggalos and artists that they support, which have included rap stars such as Busta Rhymes, Ice Cube, and MC Hammer. And over its first 11 events from 2000 to 2010, the festival drew a total attendance of over 100,000 fans, nearly averaging 10,000 per year. And guess who is a Juggalo from single player? Wade. According to his Grand Theft Auto Wikipedia page, in 2012, while Wade was on his way to the gathering with Daisy Bell, Kush, Chronic, and several others, they stopped at Sandy Shores to buy some drugs. 
Therefore, there's a chance of Wade being featured. However, I hardly doubt we would see Trevor since Stephen Ogg isn't interested. But this could be an instance where Wade's actor is interested. So it looks like in our next DLC, we are going to be getting the return of single player character Wade. So Wade Herbert is a friend of Trevor and Ron Jakowski, who also appear in Grand Theft Auto Online, and he's also the cousin of Floyd. Now, the reason Wade hangs out with Trevor is because when Wade last saw his friends driving to a quarry with a local dealer named Trevor Phillips, who likely killed them unbeknownst to Wade, who thought his friends simply abandoned him, Trevor proceeded to look after Wade. So essentially, you have to think of him as an associate of Trevor Phillips Enterprises in single player. So running drugs and doing stuff in Sandy Shores and Grapeseed in the Alamo Sea up in that area. Now, like Tez Funds 2 mentioned, I think it's very unlikely that Trevor Phillips is going to be returning. Long story short, the voice actor and motion capture artist for Trevor, Stephen Ogg, doesn't really seem like he has an interest in coming back and doing any more roles, especially for Trevor. We've seen that on several interviews and occasions where he's mentioned that. But it looks like Wade is going to be coming back, and you would suspect that anything that Wade is going to be doing will be featured up in Blaine County, Sandy Shores, uh, around that area. Now, some more follow-up to this entire thing. It looks like there's going to be another Juggalo, someone we know as Dax. Insider Tez Funds 2 says, It appears that we have a new character called Dax. The associated blip names with him are Dax Overlay and Warehouse Juggalo Dax. This is similar to what Rockstar added in the Criminal Enterprise updates in regards to Simeon, Simeon Overlay. Also, the remote sniper mounted on a van is coming back. There's a new blip called Gun Van. So just doing some speculation here, I'm going to assume that because they are both juggalos, Dax is going to be either a friend or an associate of Wade that's going to somehow help us out or will provide us some way to make money given the fact that he is going to appear in-game, given what we know with what Rockstar did with Simeon, how he now appears in his auto shop. So he is going to be a physical character that we see. And because he is involved in a warehouse, again, I'm going to assume drug running or weapon smuggling, something like that, something like what we did with Trevor in single player. So think of this as a way to make money, which could be really cool. And the remote sniper mounted on the van is going to be coming back. This was also featured in single player. This gun van was actually featured in the mission Kaida Libre. It's essentially a modified heavy sniper placed on a gun mount, and the weapon relies on advanced optics fitted in the gun mount, and is stated by its name is remotely controlled from a separate device. And it features a high-tech scope that can zoom a lot further than any sniper rifle or even its counterpart, and also shows wind direction. This, of course, allows for accurate shots as it does not sway in the wind and has a much faster rate of fire than the heavy sniper if the player presses the trigger repeatedly. So I would have to assume that this is going to be used in a very similar fashion to shoot something out of the sky or take out a heavily armed or big object or vehicle or whatever the case might be. And I would assume it's going to be featured in the same capacity. And uh, you would think because Trevor Phillips took part in that mission that Wade would know all about it and that Wade's friend Dax would also know all about it too. So there's a lot of interesting stuff going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online. Rockstar are giving players free money to talk about what they would think about basically getting them from the city to the desert quicker. And then there's a lot of things in the files that suggest we are going to be doing stuff in the desert and with Wade and with Juggalos and whatnot and with a gun van that was featured in a mission involving Trevor Phillips. So some really cool stuff that looks like it's on the horizon here. This has gotten me very excited about what's to come. I'm assuming it's only going to be a part of what the next DLC is, not necessarily all of it altogether. But again, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about everything we discussed in this video today. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. 
and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.